Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor, and welcome to our video on the best checklist apps. You'll find the links to the apps in the description, and make sure to watch until the end to know our verdict on which checklist app is best from the list and why. Let's get started with Do, best for a to-do list. The Do app stands out with its automatic list sorting and marking. The app best suits people wishing to access a checklist with a simple complexion check. The supported features include changeable font, password lock, data backup and restore, manual sorting, auto sorting, pen and paper sound effects, and support notifications. The app also enables you to change the time and date format. Allowing the notification permission makes it easy for the app to push reminders. However, the standard Do app is associated with advertisements. Checklist – The Ultimate App – Best for Creating Multiple Checklists The Checklist app is well known for its user-friendly interface that enables you to categorize your items and have a more organized checklist. If you're looking for an app for all your checklists, then this app is for you. Some creatable lists include travel packing lists, moving lists, study and exam plans, shopping lists, to-do lists, and work task management. For instance, you can create a hierarchical category based on the parent-child relationship of the items. This app offers in-app purchases. Microsoft To-Do – Best for Intelligent Task Suggestions the Microsoft To Do app has a competitive advantage with its synchronization feature across devices and Microsoft 365 accounts. The app best suits people wishing to access their to-do list and task reminders from anywhere. The app helps you to focus on your productivity by providing a space to create shopping lists, set reminders, record collections, and take notes. The app is free and doesn't have in-app purchases. So, which one is the best app from the list? Our top pick is Microsoft To Do. We love the app because of the synchronization feature. Thanks for watching. Till next time.